It looks like we're getting another class plague diamond today because in our last video, our top comment was from Just Jay saying that he wants to get the Swiss done on Mauer. So that's what we're doing today. They also said that we can upgrade our dead shot to tier five, which was cruelly only upgraded to tier four last time. So let's do that real quick. Perfect. And they also said that we can upgrade our sniper rifles to tier four, which is rude. Why only tier four? What are we getting out of this? I guess it does help out though. It's better than no tiers. And now we can actually put more attachments on this. But for our challenge, they said they want us to use the axial arms three times scope. So I threw that on here and I guess I'll throw on a stabilizer. Actually, does this give me more drop rate? I think so. And I'll throw on the bruiser grip and the speed tape. But I also got the tiger team barrel on here. I got the ember sighting point. I got the 10 round mag and I got the tactical stock. And I say we're getting another class plague diamond because last time we got our hammer and sickle plague diamond, but I have done zero special weapons so i don't know how that happened like it says right here that i have played diamond but i have i've only done one melee weapon and no specials like none of these are done i only have my knife leveled up here because i was using it to unlock the hammer and sickle so i don't know how that happened but we got a free plague diamond out of it but before we go ahead and hop in if you want to leave any weapon upgrade or challenge suggestions go ahead and leave it in the comments down below i'll have a comment there as well with everything we've already completed so make sure you check that out first that way you don't get any repeats we've been getting a lot of mauer recently and i kind of like it it's one of the more or the one of the better maps in this game and it's way underrated but our big biggest challenge today is going to be getting 2500 crits and this thing is going to be pretty slow to get done every sniper is pretty slow none are as slow as the zrg but it's still going to take us a while to get this done so i, I went ahead and decided that i'm going to use frenzied guard since we got that upgraded last time and it didn't really help us with our melees but i think it might help us out with our sniper probably get a little more use this way but i'm glad that we're going to have our sniper class done after this i mean we still have two other snipers to do we still have the pellington and the tundra but it'll be nice getting like an actual class out of the way because I don't know if I really count our melees and specials being done. I, I think it'll count towards like Dark Aether, but we have zero specials done at the moment. And on our second Dark Aether account, I had a rule in there where like once a class was complete, we wouldn't come back to those weapons until like after we got Dark Aether. But I think this time around, I'm just going to leave it wide open. Whatever weapons we don't do, we can do. So if we want to do every sniper in the game, we'll, we'll do every sniper in the game. We'll get the Dark Aether when you guys decide we get the Dark Aether. But I think Cold War is no longer on uh, PlayStation Plus. Like it's no longer the free game on PlayStation Plus, which is, you know, a little upsetting because I feel like it gave the game kind of a resurgence and i hope that some of the players that got it stick around like some people could probably got it you know hopped on tried it out maybe they're not too into it but i hope there's a lot of new players that you know got hooked during this the month that was it was free because i've been seeing a lot of people come by like my streams or commenting on like older videos like hey i just started playing like where, where what should i where, where should i start what should i do and it's cool seeing people get into this game for the first time like, i just wish i could experience this game for the first time again it's it's almost like when you find like a really good show and you wish you could just re-watch it like with no knowledge of what happens like it'd be so sweet hopping on cold war again for the first time but i would also love to just wipe my memory of breaking bad like just the whole plot and re-watch it again same with better call saul banger shows but i think i need to play it a little bit safe here in the beginning because jack rabbits are going to be extremely difficult to do once elite starts spawning on this map because we're going to be getting manglers we're going to be getting panzers tempest like all, all those are just bad news for trying to get a jackrabbit medal and i kind of need those and i don't want to get caught like we did with the hammer and sickle and be playing for hours and hours and hours just getting hit while i'm on like a 15 streak without getting hit like i don't know what it is but jackrabbits are the hardest thing for me to do in this game so if i can take out this tempest without taking any damage that would be optimal oh i think i got it no i did not i just broke its armor stop teleporting let me shoot you there we go give me the fuse please uh can we make it across the tracks without getting hit clean but well, i cannot like get weapon levels fast at all in this game anymore uh, it took me like three and a half hours maybe even more today to get this thing fully leveled up we were playing outbreak for most of it uh the first game of outbreak like we do three round outbreak i got 30 levels in those three rounds which is very fast once you hit level 30 though it feels like you hit a wall xp wise because it took an additional nine rounds of outbreak or maybe six let's let's go ahead and meet it in the middle we'll say seven rounds of outbreak Maybe eight. Six and a half rounds of outbreak. Don't ask me math. But it took that much longer to get this thing from level 30 to level 50, which is absolutely atrocious. I don't know what to do to level these things up because everyone says Onslaught, 
Well, Onslaught's probably only good for weapons that have a decent fire rate. Because otherwise, I'm just sitting there training the whole time and getting messed up by elites. And then when I go down, I can't just repurchase my perks or, you know, do whatever. So it seems like a waste of time to do it with any weapon that's kind of like ass. And then multiplayer is just so slow. And on top of that, with the snipers, if you don't have the Tiger Team barrel for them, they're just hit marker machines in multiplayer until you're basically max level with them. So I was kind of at a loss of what to do. But, I mean, we got it leveled up now. We hit level 50 at the start of this game. So I wasn't even fully at level 50 until we started playing this. But if I could change anything about Cold War, it would be the rate that you get XP because I'm sick of it. I even used a double weapon XP token. It was only 15 minutes, but I used it after we made like level 30 and it still felt extremely slow. So if y'all got some hidden weapon XP method, now's the time to share it. Oh, I'm going to go down. Tempest, I need you to die. But right after I'm done reloading, please. There you go. I'll be taking that fuse. And now we got power back on. And I was saying this on stream, but right when somebody recommends the Hower, I don't care what they say to do in the, the, the comment. We're doing Hower in the power room on Mauer. And somebody also said that I have to eat something sour. Just want to throw it out there so nobody's surprised when I completely change up the challenge when it's uh, suggested. But I also completely forgot about Disciples and how those would be a pain in the ass for getting Jackrabbits done. Because they'll just fucking come up like that and start sucking the soul out of me, literally. And I wonder if I kill the disciple over here, does it still kill all of its, like, little gremlins? Or do they have to be right next to the pack-a-punch machine? Either way, though. There we go. He's finally dead. I was about to say, this dude's not dying. But, oh yeah, all the zombies will die, regardless of how far away we are. All right, now that we know. I'm broke as shit, though. I need you zombies to give me some money so I can buy Deadshot. Because this gun's not doing it right now. Was oh, that double points? Wow, look at the zombies actually listening to me. I just really wish the snipers could collapse more than three zombies at a time. You know how much the meta would shift in this game? Like if you could just train up zombies and shoot how many zombies that you have lined up in a row just with one bullet, snipers would shoot up to some of the best weapons that you can use in this game. But no, they decided to make them slow as shit, all of them weak as shit, and just like very grueling to get the camos done for. I'm a big boy. I can get it done because I'm that dude. But we need dead shot and I'm going to save the rest of this money for pack a punch. It is pretty satisfying though getting these headshots with a sniper. It's just very annoying doing it 2,500 times. So it's a good thing that Outbreak took a little bit longer for me to level it up because I got like a thousand headshots or something during that, which is a ridiculous amount for Outbreak. Like That's how long I was playing it for to level this thing up. And we got enough for pack a punch. I'm grabbing it. Okay, we're at six times for our jackrabbit. Just four more. Or we're, we're making good pace here. And now this is what we're going to be doing all game. Training around this tank. It's actually how I got my first round 100 on this map. I train around the tank until I had a, a ring of fire. I go up there, pop the ring of fire, and, you know, let loose. Very inefficient way to get to round 100, but it worked. And actually, I got all these decoys. What am I training for? Get on the decoy. No way you still walked up and hit me, you bastard. And I guess I'll grab a speed cola, but I'm really like in camp speed cola doesn't do shit in this game. Like it's such a very minor speed difference that it's not even like worth it. But any speed will help, I guess. Oh, we just need two more jackrabbit medals and we're good. Then I don't give a fuck if I get hit as long as I'm not dying. Why don't I do this? Decoy again. Get a few kills this way. And then I'll use my aether shroud. I think that zombie just died as it was hitting me or maybe activating it kills nearby zombies i don't fucking know how this thing works to be real let's hope that it didn't fuck up our jackrabbit though and i think our very first time during the swiss i was so confused by the pack a punch name but i think not only am i illiterate but i'm fucking stupid it's swiss cheese i don't know why i couldn't read the the threes for the e's when i use them in my own name on like twitter and twitch i guess x now whatever the fuck's going on with twitter but it's just elite speak Come on, I'm a gamer. I should know these things. Younger me didn't know what the fuck was going on. Older me definitely does, though. I'm a lot wiser now, but I'm still dumb as shit. I'm wise enough to know that I'm dumb as shit. Oh, and there's all of our jackrabbits. Don't gotta worry about getting hit anymore. We just need crits now, basically. That's the only thing we gotta worry about. All right, you guys need to slow the fuck down. I said this last video when I was talking about Frenzy Guard, but I'm gonna bring it up again. It takes entirely too long to get it back. It's been... How many rounds since I popped it? I think I popped it on like round 11. It shouldn't take multiple rounds to get my field upgrade back. It should, I should get it at least once a round minimum. Cause it's not like I was hitting an insta kill or anything to stop me from getting my, my field upgrade. Why does it take that long? I actually don't even have to fully scope in. If I just lightly tap my, my left trigger, 
It kind of already locks onto their domes. That's a faster way to do it. And I should be doing it like that. Let's grab pack two. And I don't know if we'll ever get enough scrap to get this thing all the way up to legendary. How much do we need? 500 for purple tier? Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's so much scrap. I guess it is only like round 14. We'll, we'll get more blue drops as the game goes by. But just based on my outbreak experience, this shit sucks once like zombie health starts scaling. Like even with pack-a-punch and everything, if we're not upgrading the damage tier, it's not going to one-shot zombies unless it's headshots. I guess I'll grab Crick Revive. I don't know why I said that like a baby, but could help us out if we end up going down. This map's got the best dog round though. Being able to get headshots on the tormentors, getting a little extra crits is so nice. So I'm pretty sure hellhounds and plaguehounds cannot be critted, which is stupid. Holy shit. Panzer, you just walked into a death trap, buddy. Oh, now we got 500 blue scrap. Okay, let's get this to purple. That was a little faster than I thought it would be. We honestly just need to do the super Easter egg. That way we can start off on this tier. Maybe I'll try getting that done soon. And since we already got a purple tier, we can do this little side Easter egg to get it to uh, legendary. Uh, let's make sure the zombies are kind of far away from us though. Actually, you know what? We'll pick this up and use our, our frenzied guard. Because I just did a, a video where we did all the side Easter eggs in Cold War. Took a while to put it together, but I appreciate you guys showing some love on it. And we failed it. So, oh wait, maybe we didn't. Okay, I would, Chris Kyle would be so disappointed in me. I could have kept that going. But basically you gotta shoot all these targets and then all of a sudden you get a, an eighth air wrench tool, but I fucked that one up real hard. Well, like I was saying, I did I did just put up a, a video of me doing every side Easter egg in Cold War. There was a lot of side Easter eggs I didn't even know about until like I was doing research for the video. So I'm glad to say that I've done every side Easter egg in the game now. And I appreciate you guys showing love to that video because it did take a, a bit to put together. But I thought I'd be cool and hop over here and be like, yeah, yeah, I know how to do this. Let me go ahead and get a legendary tier on this real quick. But I fumbled that hard. I'm going to go ahead and blame that on me being ass. I don't think anyone would disagree. Oh, there's our 1500 crits. So once we're at 1,489, we'll be done. That's so many more crits to go. Maybe pack three will help us get there a little faster. I'm going to go ahead and guess and say we'll be done with this by round 34. Hopefully. Oh, there's our rotten camo. All 2,500 kills are done. So I need a lot more of everything else. We do finally have enough to get to legendary though, despite us fucking up that Easter egg. So our weapon's at its max potential now. This is such a pain in the ass to do. Why couldn't they have like cut a thousand headshots out from the snipers? Would have made them way more enjoyable to do. We're just running around, tossing these shooting zombies in the head that's all it is oh there's our pack-a-punch kills we're getting close on crits too we're just 200 away honestly after doing the zrg this isn't terrible uh, i'm just bitching to bitch but this thing shoots a million times faster than the zrg like I, I could not ask for a faster sniper than this i could i definitely could but i won't complain that much but i will i'm dead i'm fucking dead i'm dead i'm alive I'm alive. I'm dead. I'm alive. Holy shit. That was a fucking roller coaster of emotions. That's our first down in this game, too. Kind of proud of myself for making it this far without going down with the sniper. But we did lose Deadshot, so I need that back immediately. Quick revive, Deadshot, Speed Cola. Let's fucking get out of here before we die again. Okay, so we didn't get done on round 34, but we are extremely close. I think we literally just need like 12, 15 more. Come on. This should be it right here. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Show me the camo. Maybe I'm misremembering what number we're at when we still needed a thousand. But I feel like we're close. I can smell it. We gotta have it by the time this round's over, right? Oh, there's a level up. This has gotta be it right here. Let's fucking go, baby. That's a plague diamond. A real plague diamond. And it's on the most difficult class. Let's fucking go. You know what? Let's try to exfil too. We're only one round away from it. Might as well. Okay, let's go ahead and craft a death machine really quick. There we go. I'm gonna grab some Gersh's or a Gersh. And let's see if we can start up this exfil. Come on. Don't knock me while I'm doing it. Clean. Let's see if we can actually get out of here. I don't think I've exfilled on Mauer in a bit. It, it still confused me why Krevchenko would actually come and pick you up if he's like... You know, so dead set on having you either complete this mission or die. Like, why would he let us just get out of here? But it's whatever. I won't, you know, contest the lore. They can't just remove x on a map just because, you know, you're captured by Omega. But we'll throw down this. Let it eat up the zombies. I'll use some of this as well. And we should be all out of 
the hostiles pretty soon. Actually, let's use this. And then go back to our death machine. And we'll get our last kills with our sniper. There's still two more zombies somewhere. Where? Oh, right here. Lele. Let's get out of here, Kovchenko. Also, one of the coolest expo locations, too. Right at the edge of this building. It's clean. But here is our final stats for this game. 243,000 score. 1,886 eliminations. 1,525 crits. Zero revives and one down. Not bad. Now let's go ahead and double check and make sure that we have Plague Diamond now and Gold Viper. And it looks like we do. All right, let's go ahead, hop in game and see what it looks like there. All right, this is what our Swiss looks like in game with Plague Diamond. And it is beautiful. I remember a lot of these early snipers in the game did not have any camo coverage on the default scope. But this one having it really makes the gun. I feel like it would stick out like a sore thumb if it didn't. But this is one of the better looking camos in this game. One of the better looking weapons. And the coverage is just amazing. Glad to get it done. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Make sure you guys leave your suggestions down below. And check out what I have down there first. That way we don't get any repeats. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.